Good morning, readers and writers. Today we are doing the common word study, poly. Yesterday we had mono, today we have poly. If you remember, mono meant one of something or one or single. Poly means many of something. The word part for poly is it is a prefix. If you look at the examples, you can see that it is located on the front of an existing word or concept. So poly is a prefix. The origin, like mono, is Greek. Some examples of words that contain the prefix poly would be polytheistic. If you remember yesterday, or last word study, we had monotheistic. Monotheistic means you worship one god. Poly means you worship multiple gods or more than one, sometimes many gods. Um, when you guys study the uh, cultures of the Greeks and the Romans in, in ancient uh, Rome and ancient Greece, you will find out that they, uh, those um, cultures were polytheistic. The second word is polyester. Polyester is a type of fabric. And the reason it's called polyester is because it's woven from many different fabrics. Many different types of fabrics uh, go into something that is polyester in nature. It's not just cotton or just silk, but it's polyester. It's kind of a blend of many different types of fiber. And the third word is polygon. This is a math word. You probably have heard this in math, but a polygon is a many-sided figure. There are lots of different polygons, uh, starting with a triangle, working all the way up to an octagon and a decagon. Um, but poly means many. So anytime a shape has more than two sides, of course, it becomes a shape. And uh, polygon is a many-sided shape. So there you have it. Today we have poly. I like poly. It sounds fun. Opposite of mono. Poly means many. And make sure you look for poly examples within your literature you read or any of your textbooks that you read here at school. And have a great morning. Bye-bye.